guess good. So. You know, the only bummer <laughs> about yesterday is we lost that hour. Mm -hmm. You know, we spring yeah. forward with the clocks and daylight saving time. Yep. And so this is the sort of the day after when it kind of starts to feel like, wow, what happened to my body? Even just one hour can really impact us. So we wanted to get some advice this morning. Dr. Cam Atwal, a sleep medicine Hi. physician, is here for us. And how did you sleep? I slept fantastic. How about you guys? <laughs> you sleeping this morning? Uh, I, I could not fall asleep last night. Yeah, it was so too bright out, and I, yeah, my body was just not yeah. having it. So very interesting. So the reason that we feel like this, that we have an internal clock, right? Our internal clock tells us when to go to sleep and when to wake up. Problem is that when we have this daylight savings time, what happens is our clock gets out of sync. Mm -hmm. And that's why we don't feel quite right the next day. And some people can adjust in a day, and some people can take up a week to adjust. Bring us back into sync, number one thing we can do. Well, don't feel like you're sleep deprived going in. So make sure you're really sleeping well going into the time change, whether it's in the spring or whether it's in the fall. And a little trick you can do is 15 minutes make that adjustment. So go to bed 15 minutes earlier, get up 15 minutes um, uh, you know, earlier also, leading up four days into it. So come Monday, you're in sync with the really? daylight saving time. What about today? So now we've already you know, sure. jumped missed forward. Missed our window on that one. I missed our, yeah, so, so can I nap today? Is there anything I can do to kind of get me back in sync? So avoid caffeine, avoid alcohol, get your exercise, and have a bedtime routine. And what I mean by that, you guys, is a lot of my patients say I don't sleep well when you were a kid you had a bedtime routine right mom had you like wind down towards the end of the day so tonight you know wind down turn off those electronics and then melatonin is also something that you can use to put your circadian rhythm in sync with the time change I actually took some melatonin on Friday night because I was so desperate for a good night's sleep <laughs> tell me is that something that needs to build up in your body over time or does a one-time shot of melatonin make a difference so I always tell people melatonin doesn't put you to sleep it gets your brain ready to uh, get to sleep. So melatonin should be taken at 0.5 or 3 milligrams, 60 to 90 minutes before the anticipated bedtime. And it's something that your body will adjust to over a few days. It's not a drug that builds up. Remember, our body produces melatonin in response to darkness, so bright light turns it off. So another you know, answer to your question, mm -hmm. Ashley, getting exposed to bright light. So today, if you're sleepy, you know, take a walk around the block and get yourself exposed to bright light. I know we don't have a lot of bright light in Oregon but you yeah. know bright light boxes are very good to help with that and you can buy those online these days very easy to do that great okay yeah. dr. Kim Atwal thank you and you guys have uh, sleep studies at Adventist Health as well yeah, so we have a great sleep team at Adventist Medical Health Center we have a great website which I think you guys are going to share we have a getting to sleep guide on there which is a great app and great information for your viewers but uh, we have a very comprehensive program so talk to your primary care the bottom line I want to tell people is Pillars of health, exercise, diet, mm -hmm. people always ignore sleep. Don't ignore sleep. Absolutely. I need a nap today. Well, I'm, right. need. Dr. Camp, <laughs> I'm striking out over here. <laughs> well, well, me too. I'm, like, I'm doing the caffeine. 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 I'm doing the caffeine.